So now um, we've demonstrated price changes and stuff, um, we're now going to move on to the reports um, on the software. So at the end of the day you do what's called a read and a read pulls all the information off the tails and puts it on your back office software. So in the top left here if I press read and at this point you can select your date, this is automatic, it, it chooses the correct date, uh, you just press read. And now what will happen is on the tail you'll get a communication uh, little, little icon come up and then basically it's what it's going to do is now pulling the information from the tail to the back office software. What you'll get is uh, again session complete, no errors and um, you'll see this here, press OK. And now what's happening now, the data from the till is being filed on the back office. Um, if you had multiple tills, it would then look at each till and pull it back individually. Now once you've got this data, you can basically then go to the reports tab here, um, and then you can basically analyse your data. So, as you can see, um, you, you can see there's a lot of different reports here, um, the report groups. And if you look to the right hand side, um, you'll see you know this there's various reports, very compre this is a very comprehensive software. Um, so if I just move through the reports, your end of day would be a financial summary per branch, and again you can run any date range. So I can run right back to last Easter, to the you know, June, whatever. Um, and then we can basically run the report. So this here is a basically an, an end of day, what we've taken. We've got the average customer spend here, cash and draw, VAT to pay, the tax man, cash, credit card. All the reports can be printed. So all the reports can be saved to PDF or Excel. So if I want to run a PDF report of an item sales report, I can choose my date range and run it. And then what it will do is it will appear in this open folder here. And then that's a PDF of the report, which I can email to my accountant or email to my stock taker. Um, so all reports can be date range and emailed and saved to Excel or PDF. So other interesting reports, so if I just want to run a screenshot of the item sales today, but I could go like last month, I want to see what has been sold last month. So we've got the soft drinks, I've sold one, you know, it cost one J2O, uh, it's, you know, three of them are sold, that cost is three pounds, value 25, 80, and you can move across there. The percentage is the percentage of the sales of that particular product. And again, we can move on to beers, ciders, you know, food. And again, it totals it up at the bottom there. If I want to look at a department sales report, again, I can run this, see what's selling. My beers and ciders, we've sold in total seven. Total there, any discounts that were given. We can then move on to group sales. So this can be wet and dry. Uh, report like that. We can also move to other reports. We can do shift reports here, item sales per shift, so like half pints, etc. We can do hourly reports. So an hourly report would be, you know, when you're most busiest, sold a particular amount, um, taken that amount, and what percentage of the business was um, you're busy during that time. We can also do um, basically f we can log any free items that were given. This comes under house bond here. And, and we can also do um, Z batch. Now, Z batch, this is quite a good report. This tells you how many end of days were taken. It's like a security report. So you should have one each day. In this case, there's been seven, so there's something going on. We can also do um, a number of other reports. If we move to, um, basically, if we move to IDC, journal by clerk. Journal by clerk, we can actually select um, all staff, or I can actually just say I want to look at just Ian. Um, because we, f we think we've got a security problem with Ian, so I can actually look at every transaction done by Ian um, so far today. So I'm just scrolling down here. In this case, if you look at the bottom here, there's been a void done here. There's been a void on the Magnus. So why has Ian done a void? Was it because the guest changed his mind, or was it because possibly Ian's a, could be an issue? Maybe we have to uh, have a chat with Ian. Um, so I can analyse that a bit further. So this is my security reports. I want to look at Ian, and again, I can see the void here for the Magnus or any refunds that were done. He's done a refund. He's done a refund on some olives. Um, I've told all my staff, obviously, to speak to the manager to do refunds. Why has Ian done a refund? We can also do um, hourly POU by clerk. So who sold what per hour? So this is great for you know getting to motivate your staff. Perhaps say at the end of the month, uh, you get a free bottle of wine. Whoever sells, I don't know, the most. 
um, cocktails or um, Cajun chickens between you know um, six and eight. Um, so that could be something there you can use. And the very good report it does is Void PLU by Cashier. This one here. Now this one here is I think is a really good report. It's not many systems that do this report. And this tells me the staff that's done the void. It tells me the product that was voided. But not only that, it tells me the date and the time it was voided. So if you've got quite a succession of voids with a particular employee, you can monitor them and you can quickly analyse that and move forward with that. We've also got lists, so lists, PLU lists, price lists, cashier lists, etc. Who's cashiers, who's pins, or who's clerk codes or clerk keys. Part of the light software is the item sales profit report. So based on cost prices, as you saw in the product maintenance, you can actually see what your profit is on the far right. And it will actually total it up. If we go to the end of the report, you'll be able to work out, based on cost prices, what your gross profit is. And that's included with the light package. The full package includes the stock part. So stock here, these reports, and stock take. And that's a module. Most, most hospitality business, businesses don't have that, but you can always add it on. And we'll put those two in a separate video because it's quite comprehensive. Um, but the system does do that, and it can do recipe stock control. Um, and there's no monthly charge for that. A lot of there's a lot of software companies that charge for recipe stock control and a monthly fee. Um, I've heard some astronomical prices of up to two hundred and fifty pounds a month. But with our software, once you buy that stock control module, you own it. So um, and it's very reasonably priced to do recipe stock. Finally, just moving on to the reports, you can do charts, so department sales pride chart, okay, cost, profit, <coughs> you know, soft drinks. We can do it an hourly line chart, so when we're most busiest on sales, transactions. Um, and then we can, my favourites reports are here, so top 20 sales by quantity. Again, you can run these reports, you can run them as many times as you like, you can't break them. So, um, Cajun chicken burgers are the most popular free. Uh, twenty-two, you know, we sold twenty-two pounds fifty of that. And then we can also do the do that by bottom. So bottom twenty sales by item and quantity. Um, my favourite report is non-movers because non-movers identify straight away any products that have not been sold in the system. So there's quite a lot in here because it's a demo. But say we've been trading for a month and you ran the non-movers report. It would straight away identify, say, a few products that have not been sold that month or that particular date range. So you don't have to work it out. The system does it all for you. So you can get that product off the shelf, get that product off the menu, and replace it with a product that is going to sell. Thank you for listening. Southwest Systems. Um, please go on our website and view the videos. Or for more information, give us a call 01392 275 324.